But after that, it looks like we're going to have mostly a dry night ahead with not so much in the way of broad support for additional showers. Can still have some patchy cloudiness, but a source of dry air to the north will trickle in overnight and through your Tuesday. So that makes a big difference in the rain coverage for the afternoon tomorrow. We'll still have a west wind for the most part during the day and especially in the morning areas of clear sky. But that north component to the breeze, it's not going to be all that breezy, but nonetheless, the breeze itself will transport that dry air inland across the state line area. We'll still have the sea breeze kicking in, but with the diminished amount of moisture in the atmosphere, we're not going to have as many showers or heavy rain bouts or even thunderstorms for that matter. Can have just a couple that form near and south of the sea breeze boundary in the afternoon. But overall, it's looking like a much drier day tomorrow. And as a result, dry air this time of year heats up pretty quickly, so we can see actual air temperatures a few degrees higher than today. But with the lack of mugginess, that puts the heat index values forecast for tomorrow in the range of about 100, maybe a little higher for some coastal areas connected to the sea breeze. So immediate coast, perhaps the eastern Big Bend, northern Nature Coast, you can have heat index feels like values around 104, while the rest of us will hover around 96 to 102. Those are the feels like temperatures. Actual forecast lows, lower to mid 70s, and actual highs will still be in the mid, maybe even a few upper 90s. Would not be shocked if maybe a couple of isolated spots hit 100, but I don't see that being a widespread occurrence for tomorrow. For boaters, west to southwest winds tonight through the afternoon tomorrow. Wind speeds 12 knots or less and seas decreasing to about a foot or less. Into the middle of the week, we'll have another couple stretches of hot days, mostly from an upper high nearby and not so much from dry air because winds will become more southwesterly again, but the rain coverage will still be very minimal, around 10% or less and mostly focused with the sea breeze. But later in the week, especially over the weekend, that upper high decreases, weakens, and our rain chances, they will start an upward trend.